The problem I know some me love for this girl Running through my mind, girl, been thinking about you lately Talking about my baby, missing you like crazy And the thoughts on my mind, missing you my baby Beating you my lady On my mind, girl, been thinking about you lately Talking about my baby, missing you like crazy And the thoughts on my mind, missing you my baby Beating you my lady Cause every time that you're not with me Start to get cold in my arms, I wanna feel you, baby girl, I wanna hold oh, From the knows. last time that I saw you, I remember your sweet kiss I've been thinking it about you, baby, there's so much that I miss When I look into your eyes, how you got me mesmerized I don't have to change twice, but me and with you are my life To the last days of our years, to the joy and through the tears I will give you all my love, so baby girl, don't you feel I'm my mind, girl, been thinking about you, baby, baby girl, don't you feel me Longer than a mile. Listen. I'm missing you, my baby. I'm the one dry you near. One dry but me near. Never love you, and you know that me swear. Sure. To every moment, girl, and you know that me dear. Come in. Can't wait to see you, and you know me can be. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Dave, didn't you hear someone knocking? Dave. Dave. Yeah? What happened, man? Man, you sleep so deep. I'm certain I hear someone knocking. Here? I'm not sure, but it sounded so. All right, all right. Let me go and see. Somebody there? Yes. Is somebody there? Yes. Who's it, eh? Who's it? Donna. Sonia's friend. Who's that? Donna, your friend. I wonder what could happen now. Sonia. Good night. It's almost daybreak. It's half past three already. Girl, what are you doing on the road at this hour? What happened, Donna? Donna, what's the problem? Look, come inside. Come. Now tell me what happened. I just come to tell you that the house fell along last night. What? Oh, God, Donna, how did that happen? I don't even know how it happened. I was sleeping and listening to the rain and thunder. All of a sudden, I just feel this heavy breeze and the house start shaking. And then it starts sliding. I thought I was in a dream. But by then, mommy and the children were screaming. I don't know how any of us didn't get hurt. I had to take mommy to the hospital because her pressure went up. Is she okay? Well... Sonia, a minute, please. Excuse me, please. Yes. What nonsense is going on, man? You make the girl wake you up this time in the morning talking a whole lot of nonsense and people want to rest? Look, let the girl go and she'll be in peace, yeah? Why are you getting on like that? I don't know why you hate that girl so. She done you something? Look, everybody must have somebody with whom they could discuss their problems. She has a problem and she needs help. So what problem she can have so urgent that give her the right to wake us at this ungodly hour? The house they are living in fell down last night. What? I hope she ain't want to come here. Look, I got a girl waiting outside and we are coming back. Where are the others? Mommy in the hospital, and the two small children by Auntie Janice. Petal gone to a friend, and I think David gone by a girl forever. I don't know where to go. Listen, why don't you stay here until sunlight, and in the morning you could search around and see if you find a place. Okay, thanks. You could rest right in this chair because the other room, the bed is filled with books and things. Anyways, only a few more hours before it gets bright. And I promise that first thing in the morning, I'm going to go and look for a room or something to rent. As it is a causing enough trouble, you know, me and Dave don't get along. Here, you don't bother with him. I'm going to make sure that everything is okay. Even if you don't find a place tomorrow, you could always stay until weekend or so, till you find a place. Let me get you a pillow and a sheet, because mosquitoes plenty and the place is a little cold tonight. Come on, girl, stop that. Everything is going to be fine. Listen, I'm going off to bed and I'll see you in the morning, okay?
dude. Just a little quickie of. Mm -hmm. Man, man, Dave. No, man. So what happened last night with you and Dano? Nothing really. She's outside sleeping on the chair. So? What arrangements you all make? What to do, you mean? You mean if she's going to be staying here? Not really, but I hope you make no stupid arrangement like that. You know, as a man, I always tell you I can't live with strangers. Even if me own brother or sister asked me to come here, I would tell them no. I'm a man I like to walk about in this place anyhow. Sometimes with my shots, sometimes nothing at all. So I can't have people restricting my movements. You yourself are always walking all over the place with your underwear alone. Well, all that will have to happen is you will have to stop doing that for a while. As a matter of fact, you're not supposed to walk around the house like that anyway. In me own house? <laughs> you don't make joke, yeah? <laughs> Well, who said she was staying here? Oh, no, you're talking. <laughs> okay, Dave. Oh. All right, Dave, stop. Come on, stop. Come on, stop. <laughs> you know, for a minute, I was just thinking that if Dana was to stay here, all my speed would have to cut. What do you mean by that? It's not what you're thinking. I mean, all them quickie in the chair, on the floor. <laughs> all them impromptu <laughs> thing up would have to stop. Shut your mouth. You like to talk a lot of nonsense. You don't like to hear the facts. Fox, I wonder what you're going to do when I leave next month. You may have to fling up the kitchen, the chair, and the floor. Well, you know me. I could bear my chief. <laughs> bear chief? Look, Dave, give me a chance, yeah? That's what you're trying to say. Then when you gone, I can't do without sex till you come back. You? I know you too good. You the man who never do anything until you get caught. Moon or run till day catch up. <laughs> Here, no. I don't want to hear anything. When I went to Kimbia to do my UG National Service, you had a wonderful time. You gone back with a stupid story again. What <laughs> you mean again is you start the whole conversation. Well, as I started it, I can finish it then. <laughs> no, since I started speaking the facts, you are opting out. As I was saying, you had a wonderful time with that ugly looking creature from the Ministry of... The education. No, man. Home Affairs. No, Dave. Ministry of Culture. Would you shut up and give me a chance to think what I want to say? Everything is a joke to you. You know, you don't know what you're getting so hot for. After all, I still maintain that I never had an affair at all since we get married. And you keep believing them stupid friends of yours like that pig-faced one that lying down all day. Sometimes when I see she, I just feel like putting one slap in she. I know she's be telling you them stupid things about me. How many times must I tell you it is not that girl? Yeah? Well, seeing that we're on that topic, I want you to go and wake her up and let her know it's morning. And morning means time to leave. You just really annoy me sometimes. Look, get up off the bed so I could make it up before I make breakfast. How come? <laughs> You're the lady who don't like to get up and make breakfast. She got you good already. Look, let me go about my business. Don't worry, girl. You'll find somewhere. It's not somewhere I'm worried about. It's the cost of housing these days. I don't mind paying up a little $15,000 or so per month. Listen, I already told you not to worry about that. I am willing to let you stay here at least until you find a place. I myself will help you look around if it comes to that. Sonia, come please. You remember what I told you this morning? Good. That is what you called me for?
Sonia told me about your misfortune. I'm sorry, but we can't help. I'm not in favor of anybody staying here. Not even my own mother could come and live here. A day or so, yes. But as soon as a few days pass, catch your house. I don't want anybody here. Sonia, I hope I make myself pellucidly clear. I don't know what's wrong with him. All of a sudden, he starts showing off. He's behaving really stupid, and he's not normally like that. I wonder what his problem is. Donna girl, I think you should freshen up a little. I can get you a towel. And we can head into town together because I have to go to the airline's office to book my flight before I go to work and hand over to my assistant. Bye. I could drink a cold beer. Sorry, but I don't have any beer. Try something else. Well, what you got? Got some vodka and some Johnny Walker. What? Bring the Johnny is a long time I ain't talked to my boy. Who's that? What? Oh, who's they ain't talked to for a long time? Johnny Walker. Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> you know this man is slow, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, you catch me there. <laughs> See what is this? This why seeing. Am I seeing right? What happened, Dave? Your wife fought out and leave you. Hey, wife? don't make them kind of joke, man. <laughs> this what happened there? I mean, I don't know what happened. Me and Sonia are gonna get it out. Hold on. Guess what? Can't talk to you by Johnny because it's finished. But we're gonna talk to the vodka. So what's all this about? Bye. Last night, like I said this morning about 3 o'clock, Sonia wake me up asking me if I hear a knocking on the door. I now jump up to go and answer the door. Guess it's who? Who? Dano. Dano? The nice thick chick? Oh, the dog law? Sapa de la Brown? Yeah. Bye. I like the girl bad, you know. It's a long time I eye in shop. What's she little? Highty tighty. Mm. She got a nice body, bye. She thick. Here now, here now. Y'all can listen to me. She come here last night telling Sonia how she house far along last night and she ain't got no way to stay. I don't know what transpired with you, between she and Sonia, but like Sonia wants she to stay here till she find a place. Mm -hmm. I don't tell Sonia she ain't staying here. I don't care how bad she did. You know, I hear the temple news this morning, you know, but I didn't know what she. I'm sorry for her though. Yeah, but Dave, you got a lot of space here, man. You got an empty room. Get the girl and let's squeeze now. Man, are you like stupidness? <laughs> no, here no one. I like how Sonia going away next week for a whole three months. It's not best you have the chick here. Let's you hold on and you can walk it up, walk it up. No, 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 no. Y'all done them kind of talk. Y'all know he's a man don't indulge in them kind of things. I learned the hard way six years ago when I cheat on Sonia and I vow never, not me again, to go with another woman. Mm, I envy you, boy, but I can't eat cook up every day. <laughs> Dave, you better tell me. <laughs> they got a variety of cook up. <laughs> you better know that. They got split feet, yes. cook up, China cook up, yeah. hallelujah, mm. black eye. Sometimes it got in a little corned beef, yeah, sometimes yeah, a little chicken, well. sometimes a little pig tail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but seriously, I don't like the idea of people stopping by you. It does be good for the fuss. And some of them, they just give you real hell. Yeah, me mother had the same problem. She taking a girl and put her in the empty room we had. Mm -hmm. The afternoon she get taken, the next morning she bring two children. Mm -hmm. Well, you all know me mother. She's soft. Mm -hmm. eh -eh, a couple of days after, the woman boyfriend moving. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Moving, I tell you? Boy, is then I gonna go mad. Cause this girl used to help the old lady sweep and go to market and cook and wash and stuff. The next thing I know, she starts sweeping and left in the dust at a certain point so that me mother must continue. What? You're making joke. We left she. Then she start making styles to so go to market and cook and wash herself. But here how the baby party gonna break up. Mm. You know I'm a man, I like my little fancy clothes. Not really, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all there on joke. 
Anyway, every couple morning has washed a shot and hang it out and the shot does disappear. One night, I've been by some friends and I spent till late. Just after I reach home, the woman and the Shibanas come from some party they went to. And guess what? Bro. Mm -hmm. The Mr. Ma had on one of my shorts. <laughs> but don't let me tell you what happened. You know, it's the same night all them had to move out. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I think you are wrong for taking them in in the first place. Mm -hmm. Bye. Everybody has to learn, you know. Yes. I noticed another thing happening. They got people asking you to keep the children for them till the visa come through. And when they collect the papers, they forget about you and the children. Right now, me auntie got some children keeping for somebody. And she ain't get a cent since they gone. All them who fall in them worries, though, it's good for them. Because sometimes they don't really want to keep the children. It's the pork some outside they want. You're right. By the more you attack, is the more you get him. Uh, she ain't staying here, by. She can't stay here. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Uh, Dave told us about your little plight. Yes, um, Dave told us what happened. Yeah. I'm very sorry to hear. Uh, but don't make that let you despair. Um, where there is life, there is hope. Thanks. Excuse me. Dave? Hey, I need some ice. If you are still here when Sonia comes, please tell her that I heard about a place and I'm going to check it out. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but just in case you didn't get through, you can uh, check me at the office tomorrow. Maybe I can offer some help. That is, if you need help. Okay, thanks. Okay. One thing with you, boy. You don't waste time at all. That thing is thick, boy. I tell you. Tigan? Man, why you embarrass the girls? You don't understand me, you know she been in this house all the time? Shucks, she must hear everything what we say. Well, you know something? If she hear her glad, so she can't say she know how she stand. After all, I said already and I said it again. I don't want nobody staying in my house. What's up, baby? Why, you don't talk to strangers? Wanna ride? I know you, Zoo. You better go long you way before I tell you girlfriend Donna. Hello, is one Donna staying here? Yes. Can I have a water drawer, please? Hold on, please. Donna? Donna? Yes, Sonia? There's a young man at the door to you. Me? Hey, what happening? Eddie, I think I tell you not to come here. You know I only stay at these people till I find a place. One week pass already and I want to move at the earliest opportunity. I don't want no story because the girl husband done mad that I hear so long. So where's the case? Where's CC Muzzy want to try a thing? This what trash you talking. Look, let me go long inside because I can't stand up in front of the people's door talking to man. So wait, they don't know you have a man? No, they don't know I have one. Because if I had one, he would have found a place for me to live and I would have had to be staying at people and taking all kinds of insults. You ain't fit a thing. All you just do is dress up and ride all over the place. So you want me to do if I can't find a place, eh? You know how so much places I check? If the people ain't renting the place, the house under repair, or the rent too high. I? I tell you about the place in Charlotte Street for only $15,000. And up to now, you can't go and check the lady. I went there yesterday and the lady said the place gone already. Why, why you like to lie so? I checked that lady this afternoon and the place still for rent. Well, when I went there, she said gone. 
And I don't see why you should want to rent such an expensive place when you're comfortable here. Comfortable? Comfortable, yes. Eh? Where I live in is me, my six brothers and sisters. Not that we ain't get no room or no bed. You lucky you there in a big house where you could get big room, double bed, free food, no rent to pay. You stupid or why you want to leave this place? Boy, look, you talking ignorance. This is the people place, you know. And I'm not even their relative. The girl is just my friend. Well, if it's your friend, why you can't stay? After all, this is what friends are for. Some people really funny and bad-minded, yeah? Imagine the two of them living in here alone, this big house, two big bedroom. They should have glad you come for keep their company. Why, right, look, let me go along inside because you're talking ignorance. And don't you come back here. You wait until you see me on the road. So, 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 so when is though? I myself don't even know. Dado, come out here and talk to me properly, girl. When you find a place for me to stay, then we will talk properly. Are you going on like an ass? I thank you and you blaming door for me. Hmm? You going on like if it's I responsible for what happened to you. If I be responsible for him to you, I had to find a place for you. But it's not me throwing on your house, it's the breeze. Let the breeze find a place for you. Women by I could talk about them. Good afternoon, sir. You live here? And you like a pig? Is you don't want my visit you, no? Know? But the day I hear that the two are here there, I'd make all your life miserable. And you the done up. Don't walk this road and I see you, girl. Yeah. Sonia, you can't say I didn't warn you. Now you see what lawlessness taking place in front of this door? All right, Daddy. All right, I think it's time Donna go about her business. It's one week since you're here. She has overstayed her welcome. But Dave, she's getting a place tomorrow. I am hearing that since last week. You hear what I say? She going today. This is damn I pass. Donna girl, I'm leaving for the airport. Don't worry, I already told Dave you'll be leaving tomorrow. I hope everything works out for you. Good luck, Sonia. And thanks for everything. You got everything? Yes.
Do you this plastered girl ain't gone yet? This what really going on. For the past two weeks she going tomorrow, but as the saying goes, tomorrow never comes. Well, tomorrow has arrived and she backside going today. Sonia's a hard ass woman. She gone about your business and left your friend here. She think I stupid. She want down a watch me on me. <laughs> she left here two weeks ago. The other one saying how she going the next day. Up to now she's still here. Let me stop talking. Kai must be somewhere like that woman that like Fred. Wait. So she cooking too? And washing clothes. All right. Excuse me. But who asked you to wash my clothes? And that food on the table is not me you leave it for. I just start. You can't just start. Listen, I don't want no help from you. Keep your energy to lift that bag when you're leaving. And talking about leaving, I hope you come to leave now. I just come back from the lady and she said that the people ain't move yet, but they're supposed to move by Friday. Girl, is who you think you're making a fool, eh? I say you moving today. As a matter of fact, you're moving right now. You just behave like a fool. Who you calling a fool, eh? And in me own house too, eh? Happened. Nothing. It's just that I can't believe what happened. A few moments ago, I was absolutely certain that I hate you. I know what happened, but now, look, you're right in my bed, and the thing is, the thing is, I don't feel like I hate you no more. Must be really got a thin line between love and hate. Sorry it happened though. But like you got some strong magnetic force just just drawing me to you. I don't really have to rise above it. How you mean? Girl, I know what I mean. I just I just talking because I'm confused. I don't think you could be more confused than me. You don't know what it is to feel like you belong nowhere. You don't know what it is to feel like if no one cares for you. These past few weeks have been a living nightmare. And I have a feeling that many more such days lie ahead of me. Your situation is a touchy one. I suppose you could stay here until you finally find a place. At least before Sonia comes back. I won't want her to meet you here. With what happened, it won't do us any good. I'll be long gone by the time she comes home. I don't think I can face her at all. I just hope that she never finds out about it. Don't worry about that. And anyway, I think I'll happen again.
just said, it ain't gonna happen again. If you make the same mistake twice, something wrong with you. You know what? I think something really wrong with me. It's really, really weird, eh? What happened to it? What happened to it, eh? Nothing. Only that it could put you in trouble this early morning. <laughs> More trouble, you mean? And it's not early morning, it's after 11 o'clock. What time them boys come in? They're supposed to be here already. I don't know why they're taking so long. Hello. <laughs> Stop that. I ain't doing you anything. <laughs> Go arrest yourself. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> They've stopped. Stop. I will scream, you know. <laughs> it's you who start me up, you know. You know. I can't believe this is actually happening to me. Somehow it... Somehow it feels like a dream. But if it is, I don't want to wake up. You know, I've fallen deeply in love with you. I just can't get you off my mind. Do you want to? Nah, not at all. <laughs> These days, I'm anxious to come home from work to you. And all during the day, you're just on my mind. I never told you this before, but I think the time has come for you to know. I'm listening. <laughs> it's nothing too surprising, so don't get excited. <laughs> I'm not excited. Well... I want you to know, I want you to know that I love you. And ever since we began this affair, these have been the best days of my life. And I just want to say thanks. I should be the one to say thanks. Why? <laughs> because you don't know what you do to me. I mean, I've, I've had other relationships before, but I've never been so open with any of them. The things you get me to do and, and the way you make me feel is just something else. I always say that any man coming after you gotta come good. Flattery. <laughs> no, it's... Not flattery, look. <laughs> you better stop talking because I could never really express the way I feel. Why are you crying? Why I had to fall into this? <laughs> Don't worry about that. You want to stay out here with me and them boys when they come? No. I'll be in the bedroom. I think they just come. Go on, go on. Hear the song, I hear the song, hey! I like the tune part! Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> Try to love too! And easy to do! I've got a woman at home, crazy about me! I've got one on the outside, as sweet as can be! I'm caught up in the middle of this trivial love affair! Caught up in this triangle, can't go nowhere! Try to love too! And easy to do! Is who singing there? A man called Mr. William Bellboy. How them men just come up with them lyrics, eh? They had to be able, they had to be in a situation to be able to write the song, eh? Not really, you. Look, a man might know somebody that went through a similar situation mm -hmm. and write a song about it. For example, 
I like how me and you are friends. And let's say you got two women you like more. What's that? I said, suppose you got another woman with your wife. And big problems come about and I get you. I can write a song, a poem, or even a play about it. But it didn't happen to me. You understand? Yeah, 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 I understand. Um, she are going to David wife, you know? I got to go, by. Yeah, by me too. Well, if you have one go, I could pick up both of you. I felt it for him. She had no right to attempt an abortion. She's a big married woman and already got a child. And the child big? Yeah, the little girl is about five. So, another child was safe. Yeah, it's stupid, you know. Why? Brian, if you are a married woman, getting a child for outside man, would you bring it forth or abort it? We trying to say that she used to give you blow? As soon as he turn him back, it's blows! So when baby time come now, she trying to knock it out. And it's duh, what kills she? <laughs> Women, by I could write a book about them. I still think she should have gotten a child though. After all, abortion is wrong. Wrong? More than wrong, is murder. Why rest yourself? How can abortion be murder? By destroying the fetus? How can this try and be murdering? Don't be a fool, man! You are the fool! You can't kill something that is not born! But you stupid is you talking? I understand what Nigel is trying to say. All what Nigel is trying to say is that if you are getting a baby... Who getting a baby? You know what I mean, man. All Nigel is saying is that life begins when someone is born. Therefore, you can't kill an unborn child. You yourself said this right. That sounds better than murder. Sheer nonsense. <laughs> nonsense? Well, listen. Here, man, here I say abortion is wrong and is murder. And any woman who aborts should be charged for murder because that is the greatest privilege God has given to woman, that is to bear children. Oh, Mr. Christian. Brother Dave speaks. Sir Dave, what happened with women with 10 or 12 children who find themselves pregnant and you and I know that they can't afford to mind them? What happened with sick women or women who have difficulties during pregnancy and their lives in danger? Here what you say, what happened to contraceptive? Our contraceptive don't work. You know how many women still get catch using it? Will let the man use them. You just use? I ain't a woman, I don't be a children. what I mean? So men say they don't want to use condoms. But they expect that the women must like drinking a thousand and one pill every day and have the doctors perform all form of gymnastics with them to prevent them from getting pregnant. Here, man, once and for all, abortion is wrong, is murder, and is a big sin. Uh -huh. Let's talk about abortion, making me feel that it's time to abort. Yeah, boy, I, I think it's time we make a move. So, what happened later? I think I can take all the rest tonight, boy. Chill out a little bit, I feel real tight. Um, so when soon you're coming back? Uh, the last time she called, she said it's going to be sometime next month, but she wasn't too sure. <laughs> You must be only praying for her to come back, eh? But you know the thing, eh? <laughs> when she touching, you're not gonna see her by a tie. <laughs> ah, you know you always deb out, man, huh? <laughs> Bob, you know something? What did happen to Sonia, friend that was staying here? Did she ever find a place? Why? <laughs> that's a long story. I don't see she during the day, and she is crawling in the night when she think I gone to bed. Sonia says she calls and tells her how she's going to live in Bobby sometime next week. You must be only praying for her to go her way, eh? Man, you could say that again. <laughs> All right. So later, man. All right. Good. All right. Okay. And catch up later. Take it light. Yeah. Take it light and don't get into no fight. Is right? All right. All right, man. Take it light. Later, man. Cool. Ball, eh? Yeah, that might just something else. They like a lot of nonsense. For a moment, I thought y'all would go on forever. I sleep, wake up, sleep again, and y'all just wake me up with a big noise. Hmm. Y'all could talk nonsense and talk a good name too. Well, as my good friend say, women talk name, but men discuss matters. <laughs> But it's true, Dave. His wife died trying to have an abortion. Yeah, he himself admitted. But that is horrible. I love you, Dana. Me too. Dave? 
I have something important that I wanted to tell you since last week, but I don't know how. Why are you afraid? You ain't accustomed to me as yet? Hmm? Go on, say what's in your mind. Go on, speak. I'm pregnant. What? What you say? I'm pregnant. What happened? Danny, you sure you're pregnant? Yes, I went to the doctor. He gave me a urine test and he tell me I'm pregnant. Which doctor is that? Dr. Balgobin. Oh my God, what the hell is this? Dave, why are you behaving like this? It would be your child. My child? Who the hell told you I wanted a child, eh? Dave! Don't Dave me all the time I thought you were on contraceptive. Well, you thought wrong. So how many months pregnant you're pregnant? Dave, you're not thinking of asking me to have an abortion. Well, take it out your head. I'm not going to. I asked you a question. How many months you're pregnant? You don't know how many months it is since I started sleeping in your bed? So you're two months pregnant? Precisely. So why you didn't tell me before, Dana? So you could force me to have an abortion? But can't you see you can't have a baby for me? I'm a big married man. How the hell would it look? I don't give a damn how it looks. You never thought about looks when you had me in there? You're a good hypocrite. Every day you tell me how much you love me. Even up to just now you tell me I love you, Donna, with your damn Judah self. You know good what you love me for. I don't care what you say. All I know is that you can't have that baby. Well, you make me don't have it. If you hear you at the top of your voice just now, how abortion is wrong, it's murder, and now you are willing to be my accomplice. Well, you got to be Judas' brother. Now listen to me, Donna. You know very well that my wife will be back soon. So what she got to do with me? What do you mean what she got to do with you? If my wife only finds out about this... To hell with your wife! Every time you're taking advantage of me, you didn't remember wife. Now I'm pregnant. All I'm hearing is my wife, my wife, my wife. Well, to hell with your wife! Don't be a mouth in this house before I put your ass outside. Put me out. There's a mistake I want you to make. Furthermore... I am not moving from here until Sonia comes back and means she have a good talk. You don't get Sonia into this. Well, she's already in it. Don't tell me you can't tell her anything about us. No, but I'm going to. Girl, you can't be crazy. Oh, I'm crazy. Crazy, I call it. All right, we'll see. Y'all men like to enjoy yourself. And when time comes for responsibility, you don't want to accept. Women to y'all is like football, so you could kick us all over the place. Well, I am no football. You, Dave, will have to father my child and take care of its needs as well as mine. I don't know why I had to meet you and fall so deeply in love with you. And the thing is, like, I can't even control myself. Why you had to be married, eh? Why you had to be someone else's husband? And it had to take a married man for me to know what love really is. Dave, if you throw me out now, you would be the only person to give me the greatest degree of happiness and the greatest degree of sadness. Dave, I love you. And having this child is proof of that. I've had two abortions before, but that was because I didn't love the men that I was pregnant for. But with you, it's different. No matter how much times I try to get rid of it, I can't bring myself to do it. Dave, I love you. You can't be annoyed with me if I do. Dave, please don't leave me. Don't throw me out. I promise that I will be a good mother to your child, Dave. Then I don't know what to do. This situation is too much for me. I can't think right now. I can't take this at all. Dave, I could come with you. Dave, you finish with me?
Well, Alec is such a chap, you're in a mess. When is Sonia coming back? I think in another two weeks. Oh, score by. That means you really get time to make arrangements. But Dave, you give me a big shock, yeah? You as a man who don't like playing around. And since you get married, you get stricter with them sort of things. You really surprise me, boy. Boy, a man is a man. No matter how strong he's strong. There is always that moment of weakness. Man by nature is very weak where women are concerned. And women must or should guard against it. Anyway, it done happen already. And something got to be done. So what you intend to do? I just want to wait to get rid of the evidence. You mean the baby she get in? So how you intend to do that? You said already that she's holding out to keep it. I want to can't trick her into it, you know? Give her some tablets or medicine or something. I did ask a doctor friend of mine. Tell me bring her for a checkup like if it's something genuine. And then you can just get your injection and knock it out. But he says it's too risky. And he could be banned for life from practicing medicine. What about Bush? Ask them girls how they just do it with Bush. Gishi a strong mixture to drink. Put a lot of milk and Gishi. I don't like the idea. Here. You know the drugstore on Regent Street? Well, you go there and ask for a boy named Robert. Robert? <laughs> That name song like Abort. Everything is joke for you, man. Yeah, man. You go there and ask for Robert. Tell him to sell your tablet called uh, Protro Benazone Fort. What's the name? Protro Benazone Fort. Two could work, but by four, mix it in a drink or something, gives you. Within two days, clubs, out it goes. She will feel it's a miscarriage she had. But it would have any side effects or so? You mean like if she gonna end up dead or so? Nah, man. You're the only said was two months, right? Yeah. Well, the small. People is only dead when they're fighting for throwaway four and five months old. So you will try it? But, but I think she really unreasonable, you know. She knows that you're a married man. She knows that your wife coming home. Yet still she wants to keep child. Eh? Some women don't really want you to find trouble for them, you know. You know she wants to try to with me. Monkey does really know which limb for climb on. You know something? I never really asked you. You love that girl? Eh? I know before she came here, you used to hear the best bone in you. You love her? Kind of develop a liking for her, which I find strange. Then you are saying that you love her. I don't know. But you gotta know what you're doing. You either let her have the baby and stand the consequences, or get rid of it. What I know for sure is that I'm glad it's not me who has to make that decision. Listen, Dave. I think you got to sit down and sort out this whole thing. After all, we don't know Ali Fox. We are just your friends. So you got to come up with a solution that will satisfy both you and your wife. If you only take God out your thoughts and try to please Dano, then your whole life going to be ruined. After all, she is not your wife. She is just a beating. And as I can see it, she ain't got nothing to offer you. So, chap, it's up to you. You know, somehow talking to y'all make me feel as though the problem gonna be solved. But I could tell y'all, this is the most uncomfortable period in my whole life. It's like a nightmare. I can't eat. I can't sleep. My mind just preoccupied with what might happen in another two weeks or so.
Hey, Brian. You could buy the thing for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming up your way, man. I will drop it off. All right. Hello? Hi Dave, it's me Sonia. How are you? Just giving you a quick call to check up on you. Good, good. What about you? Not too bad. I'm a lot of work. It's a little cold, but I miss you though. I miss <laughs> you like crazy. When I come back, we're gonna have a second honeymoon. Hello? Dave? The reception is not so good. Hello? Hello? Listen, we might get cut off, right? So I'll see you soon. Hello? Uh, when are you coming? Hello? Hello? So she coming soon. We'll have a second honeymoon coming up. I hope you all enjoy it. The girl says she miss you like crazy. Whatever that means. I miss you like crazy. I miss you like crazy. I miss you like crazy. Crazy. You continue, you will end up crazy. Dave, Dave, please don't give up on me. Please. Look, don't start no scene here, good? And stop the stupid crying. Dave, Dave. What's the matter now? My head hurting, I feel like I won't fit. Go inside and lie down. Let me see who it is. You want me to get you something to drink? Yes, anything except water. What about lime drink? No, mix some milk and Milo. The doctor said that I got to eat properly and watch my diet. Okay. Who was at the door? Um, I was just one of the neighbor's kids playing the fool. The longer I take, the sweet it can taste.
Get up and drink this milk before I drink it for you, girl. Oh my. What? You could really make some milk on Milo. It tastes good, just how I like it. Ow! What happened? Uh, look, something just bite me. Put this down for me now. I'm allergic to insect bites. Look, it's swelling up my skin already. Please squeeze it for me, please. I don't like it. Ow! Two flies were in the glass, so I, ju I just throw it down the sink. Only know you arrive here. <laughs> Girl, I had a hard time to get transportation with all these bags. Those mini bus drivers making a lot of sales. Come in. So what did say when you tell me about me staying here? Nothing. He said it was okay as long as you leave before Sonia comes back. Because you know she gonna want to say that he didn't want me to stay, so how come you two? So when is she coming back? Sometime next month. This just now? Yes. But you gonna be in real pickle when she touch down? Me or she? What you say? Girl Dave like he ain't too fussy for her to come back. Who gave you that impression? Well from the way he talk. You know he does hardly want to say anything even if something is bothering him. But I questioned him the other day. And from some of the things he tell me, he ain't gonna be taking no nonsense from her when she comes back. Y'all, you understand that Sonia tell me that he can't breed she because something wrong with he. And because they're married so long, it looking bad like if she barren. Mm -mm. Well, I tell him what she used to tell me. What would he say? Well, he didn't want to talk about it at first. But then he asked me if I believe him. I said, I don't know who to believe. So then he asks me, so how I get pregnant? <laughs> well, the man must be one if you give any blow. <laughs> <laughs> but little girl, you didn't understand that Sonia could have taken some kind of treatment if she wanted a child and she mm -hmm. refused. The doctor told her it was a simple thing. And she said personally she could do it all children. You think she did, don't hear now? She is something else. Girl, you ain't hear nothing yet. So, what you intend to do when she comes? Move, stay or what? My child, I don't know. Dave tell me to hold on and he can see if he finds some way I can live until things start out. Well, he ain't find nowhere yet and I'm not going to know while goose chase. But the woman gonna kick you out as soon as she come back. Kick me out? I got as much right here as she. <laughs> well, Dano, 
You really think he will leave his wife for you? Girl, you don't know men. They will tell you one thing today and a different thing tomorrow. Take my advice. Be careful. He will tell you all those nice things now. But when his wife returns, he'll be so taken up with her, he won't even hear you. She coming back with her certificate, her US dollars, and all those fancy clothes from the States. He won't have time for you. Man, Dave isn't like that at all. I don't think he would leave me through this either. He is more responsible than that. But Dana, I ain't envy you no girl. And worse yet, you're in love with him. I just hope not to be around when the action starts. So how is mommy and them children? She must be say she ain't see me now. <laughs> you know she and she don't know. Yeah. Man, I like this house bad. Look at all them curtains. Mm -hmm. You proper that comfortable girl? Yes, girl. She used to got it anyhow. It's only since I start paying little attention, it start looking like this. Dana, you really change a lot, you know. Nobody could have got you to live under this kind of situation. It's how you change, so. I just don't know. I think I just like Dave's style. Mm -hmm. I like the way he treats me. I like the way he respects me. And more so, he is the only man that ever tell me he loves me and really means it. Well, at first it was a bit strange, you know, when I told him I was pregnant. He even attempted to abort the baby without me knowing. But I know you are right. Uh -uh. Talk about the devil, here he comes. Open the door for me, please. Dano! Dano, I beg you for the last time, pack your things and come with me. Eddie, I think I tell you not to come back here. Leave! You won't put me in trouble or what? But only last week you promised me that you're moving out of this place, girl. You only make yourself a clown, you know? What a man got that I can't give to you, eh? I saw his more man than he. Get out of the man house! You put me out! Eddie, why you don't get your tail out of the man place? If she don't want you, don't want you! You don't tell me nothing! Because it's you encouraging you for that with a damn pugly man! Eh? Where is you getting a little perks? Boy, why don't make your damn auntie man serve the side, yeah? Look, you stop this quarreling in this man house! Eddie, please step outside. I will talk to you at the door. Listen to me, girl. After all I did for you, you still insist on living here? But I know what I can do, though. I only pray for the wife come. You see, when I don't tell she was, what? All you can catch her yourself. What the hell are you doing in the house? I come to me, girl. Get out. Oh, I can get to you, no, Bano. I can get to you, no. Come out the house, man. Hey, don't touch me, Bano. Don't touch me. Get your ass out of my house, yeah? Bano, remember you pushed me down, right? I can go and come back for you. You are sorry I can put you up on me. Yeah, you can come back. I can be ready for you anytime. Catch you, you son of a bitch! You can't come back. I'm gonna be waiting for you, eh? I'm gonna be waiting for you. Man, Dave, don't bother with him, man. He can only get you in trouble. Dave, you surprised me. I didn't know you so violent. Look, I go into the police station and lodge a complaint because I don't really know what's going on. Don't worry with him, man. He's not a body for you to get a confrontation with. The boy is ignorant. It's the same thing he used to want to home by before the house fall down. He used to want to come there and behave like if it's he paying the rent. His daddy and my brother David had to put a stop into him, him and his ignorance. I don't care how ignorant he ignorant, once he don't bring it where I live. I'm a peaceful man until people get me mad. He don't know me. Look, I coming back. Petal, you keep Dave company for me until I come back. All right. Oh, this bunny give me a headache. 
garbage for you. So you big for Dana or is she older than you? She bigger than me. Only by two years though. Y'all don't resemble at all. <laughs> Everybody does say so. But they gotta understand that the two of us don't have the same father. As a matter of fact, we thought we had the same father up to when we were in our teens. It's only a couple years ago mommy told us that my father wasn't her father. So where is Dana's father? Mommy said he left to go and work in the bush since Donna was a baby. And since then, she hasn't heard from him. But during that time, she picked up with my father, who looked after she and Donna, and later got me and my brother David. Mm, I see him. <clears throat> so long you gonna be staying in Suriname? Not long. It's my boyfriend over there, and he said I must come over and see if I get a chance to stay. Mm. Why this country hard, and I don't see I ain't gonna make it here. I know. We hoping to do that. I don't know what opportunities I have over there, but I know hairdressing, I can sew, and I can do catering. Mm. So how long are you going to be here for? Not long. Only about a week. The boat leaving Thursday, so by Wednesday I gone. Uh-uh. So Donna told me a wife coming back soon. Mm. I just hope y'all ain't got no trouble, because you know how things could be sometimes. Don't worry about that, man. Everything will be all right. Boy, is what you really do, me sister, eh? Ever since the two y'all pick up, I can't hear my ears. It's Dave this and Dave that and Dave and Dave and Dave. She really take a liking to you. I never see she take a liking to nobody, so. She got to really like you bad to be going through something like this. You believe in the saying that what happened to your parents has happened to the children? Not necessarily. Why you ask? Because something like this happened to my mommy. My father was mommy's sister's husband, you know. Mmm, I see. The sun too hot. I can go back later. <sighs> Alright, Kettle, I can go in and take a bath. I'll see you later, eh? Alright. Is what you and Dave have been talking about? Nothing much. We were just uh, discussing my plans to Suriname. Dad, a minute, please. I come in. Make sure you set up the room properly for your sister, all right? Why are you so interested in my sister? Just make sure the girl are right, okay? I'm in here. Girl, Dave just gave me some bad news. What happened now, Dana? When you he been talking just now, he tell you that your wife coming tomorrow? No, he didn't tell me anything. Wait, he tell you nothing? Uh-uh. Well, he just tell me that you're coming tomorrow. So you mean I can't stay? It looking so. You sure you tell the truth? I know you, you know. You'd make up a good story like that. Ma, what are you saying at all? Here. I'm gonna leave today. Although I'm not convinced that Sonia coming tomorrow. Because ever since I come here, I'm feeling uncomfortable. Because this house is not your house. It's another woman's house. And you trying to steal it away from her. You even trying to steal her husband. And that is wrong, Donna. Very wrong. Anyway, I'm glad I'm leaving. Because if I stay here any longer, it will look as though I'm encouraging you with this immoral act. As I see it, you have no shame. You see why mommy's sick till now? Don't take it on you, your damn nonsense. Anyway, you're a grown woman. I just hope you know what you're doing with your life. And you know what? Why are you fooling yourself? I had a good look at Dave tonight, and he ain't look the least bit happy. That man look worried and confused for when his wife come, what will happen? Even you ain't look happy. Look at you. Just look at you. 
You don't have a job. You can't even support yourself. You think he's going to put you in front of his wife? You're a liability to the man. One day, Donna. One day you pay dearly for this. You see how mommy punishing till now? Every year is something different happening. The last thing was the house will fall on the hard day. Every time I just always say, it's because mommy get me and David for your own sister husband. Retribution! You know it's retribution. You better find out. Captivated by your smile uh -huh. Looking from a distance As I watch you dance a while I'm losing my resistance Like your moves I like your style Looking for a signal So when you turn to me and smile yeah. I can see that it was sensual The way you move your hips The way you lick your lips Baby, I wanna kiss you yeah. I'm in the mood now I wanna dance with you Be in a trance with you Start a romance with you, girl hey. Cause you know you've Yo. got me I wanna get my move on you Feeling my emotions, the time is right You know just what I wanna do Girl, one plus one, that equals two Talking about hooking up with you Where you move your hips Where you lick your lips Maybe I wanna kiss you I'm in the mood now Gonna take your breath away Put your feelings, I won't play All through the night, I stay grown Cause you know you've got yeah. me I miss it long and I walk so y'all think I mean know you look so appealing You and your friend I'm a flex and I pose for me day and now I wait for a good enough reason All I need is to get a little close to you girl You know me want to leak out these feelings And I like me I try make me tell you my girl You know me I forget you this evening So get up and dance and fun with the flow Come move that body girl and drop to the floor Reach for your toe then pick it up slow Seek that thing if you got it let it show Then move with the visual light and kill them with the glow One step close and I you me a follow, can you get me in the mood? Are you me a shadow when they call you tonight? Y'all are so it's a go-go. Somebody knocking at the door. Here? Yes. Let me go see. It's 
Sonia, carry your things over in the other room and don't come out until the morning. Hurry up! Let me get the suitcases. Wow. Home sweet home. You want something to drink? Nah, no thanks. <sighs> Bell girl. Three months seem like three long years. I thought the day would never come when you're gonna come back home. So, how have you been keeping yourself? Well, I must say, I was just hoping that you would come home soon. You missed me then? I was more than missing you. During the day wasn't bad, but the nights, I just couldn't stand the nights. Anyway, pillows comforted me a lot. <laughs> Oh, so you bear up after all. I missed you, sometimes. The work was so much that sometimes I forgot about even the people around me. How are the boys? Oh, they, they're going okay. They were here up the last week. They're gonna be glad to see you. So how you made out with the cooking and the washing? <laughs> Many days I just had bread and milk. When I get fed up, I used to buy things from the cook shop and every time I eat something I didn't like, I used to say to myself, Sonia, hurry and come back home so I can get something proper to eat. Washing, I managed that okay. I had no way to go except work, so washing was no problem. You look great, girl. Come and give you a big hug. I thought you weren't going to do that at all. Mm, your baby is back. You look a little off shade somehow. Is something wrong? Something wrong? Nah. <laughs> Maybe it's just the surprise you give me by coming suddenly. Well, I wanted to surprise you. Good night, Sonia. Hi. Good night. Um, Donna, I didn't know you were still here. Dave, you didn't tell me that Donna was still here. I didn't know she's somebody to tell you about. You want the suitcases inside the bedroom? Yes, please. So, Donna girl, why didn't writer call me? You didn't leave your address nor your phone number. You forget? That's true, but you could have asked Dave for it. Not me, girl. You know me and he don't get along at all. If I was you, I would have gone on a second honeymoon immediately. Sonia, what's the matter? Is that one, huh? 
wish she had to say? Nothing. It's just that I'm more than surprised to see her still here and I was not informed all this time. Look, I don't like discussing that girl. As a matter of fact, she's your responsibility. I would be more than happy if you could get her out of here tonight if possible. Look, don't start that now. Tomorrow we will discuss that. Furthermore, why should we get ourselves tied up with trouble, eh? There are more enjoyable things to do so as to make up for last time. Hmm? Things like what? You don't know? Hmm? Hmm? Want me to show you? <laughs> <laughs> Want me to help you undress? No, thanks. Nevertheless, <laughs> I'll still help you. Honeymoon has now begun. <laughs> what happened? Oh, somebody daddy bedroom window. make love to her tonight, it's gonna be war. Donna, could you do the dishes for me, please? Ooh. He blasted, I spas me. Three days since his wife come back and not a word. All he doing is passing me straight and passing signals when her back turns. And the thing is I don't even understand one thing he trying to say. I believe he really ain't want me to understand. I know God always stay. He's a real Judas. Yeah, that looks good on you. Yeah, I'll make anything look good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then she come telling me about he say, I got to move and how they ain't comfortable. If she know what I wanted to tell her, she would have shot him all the same time. She lucky I went in a good mood. Anyway, I want her to know about me and him, and the sooner the better. All right, try this one. <laughs> married men? I would never ever dare with another married man. When the finish with you, the gone back to the wife and is my wife this and my wife that. Not me, again. I wash my hands. I would advise any single woman not to take on a married man, even if he offering you the stars. I just sit down in my room and hear them go, go, kind of with the oohs and the ahs and the laughing. 
And all of that will done from today. I will teach him a lesson he will never forget. Because I ain't allowing no man to fool me and get away with it. I'm looking for revenge. I had bought this for me, but I think it might look better on Donna. Let me go and give it to her. There's you people, girl. Donna? Donna? Now where could you be? Fuck, you have me looking all over the place for you. What you looking for me for? Donna, it's about our present situation here. Have you managed to find somewhere yet? How am I going to find somewhere so fast? It's only yesterday you asked me the same question. Gosh, man, like you got patience. Patience? Donna, how much more patience you want us to have? You've been here for months. Listen, a cousin of mine and I were having a chat on the phone today, and she has a room to let in Camberville for only $10,000 a month. I think that's quite reasonable. As a matter of fact, I told her to expect you another day or so. So how you can tell her that? I tell you that I want to go and live till in Camberville? Furthermore, I am not looking for a room. I am looking for an apartment. I don't want to live with people. I want to be by myself. I don't understand you at all. It's not you to understand me. I told you I will tell you something definite by Friday. As soon as I talk to a particular person, he will tell me where I'm going, when I'm going, and if I'm going at all. What was that? What was what? You said something that I think I didn't hear too clearly. Well, it is me clearly. Now, Donna, I think that before now the two of us were very good friends, but the attitude you are portraying is a clear indication that that friendship has been stretched to the utmost. I certainly wouldn't have you showing this kind of disrespect towards me while you are living under my roof. Girl, look, give me a flippin' chance, yeah? Now, Donna, if you have a problem or somebody has upset you, don't take it out on me. I got a problem now. I hope that when you problems start, you don't take it out on me. Since you come back, all you're doing is passing orders as to what I must and mustn't do. Will you think I can't leave the country too? Everybody's showing off, but it's only for a time. And my time coming, and soon too. I hate listening to you. You make me sick. You're gonna be more sick just now. Girl, I can't take ignorant people. I know I'm ignorant. But you's a big jackass. What is what really happening here? All of a sudden, she started with one hostility. She is not the Donna I know at all. Girl, don't take your damn eyes and pass my wife. Wife? I don't care who the hell she be. She could be a queen and all. Donna! You don't tell me nothing. You don't tell me one blasted thing. You see? You see? If you'd have listened to me when I tell you not to bring your backside eh? this I pass would have never taken place. I can't take this. I'm going out. I'll go drop off Jackie's stuff. Say hello for me and tell her I'm gonna check with her soon. Don't go yet. My dear is fine, you know. Hello? Hello? Who is it speaking? To whom do you want to speak? Can I speak with the mistress? Yeah, hold on. To you. Sound like a freak. Hello? Is this Sonia? Speaking. You are an educated woman. A nice woman. But you're stupid. How you could go away and leave such an attractive woman to stay in your house with your husband till you come back? a husband after all the things I heard. Listen, who's this? This story's sweet, but I ain't never talk. But I'm gonna help you cry though. Who was that? Who you said it was? A freak? She just wanted to know if I was interested in some church magazine or the other. See you later. 
perfect. Look, I'm fed up with this thing. I can't take this any longer. All right, all right. All right, all right, because you got she. This is the first time in three days since I get to talk to you. This hiding and seeking thing is driving me crazy. And you not making an effort to do anything about it. What do you want me to do? She just come back. I must gotta behave as do everything is all right. Or you have to finish your honeymoon. I look you's a real, I don't know what to call you. I hear you go telling her to put me out. You know I didn't mean that. You? I can't trust you at all. So when will the honeymoon end? Look, don't start no scene here again, good? I will do what I feel like. Because I noticed for the few days since she arrived here, you hardly saying anything to me. And she only dropping hints at me telling me but hurry up and find a place. Look. You better warn her not to fly up to me and tell me no damn nonsense about moving or else the whole baby party will break up. Is that a threat? I don't care what you call it. And furthermore, you and all don't tell me nothing. I will move when the time is right. You know I don't understand what all this talk is about. You will understand soon. Of course, the day I fell in love with you. It would have been better if I had taken a little boy or some old man or something. Married men? <laughs> Lord, I could tell you about them. Yeah, like you had a number of them. You give your mouth liberty. All I know is that this situation is driving me crazy. And the sooner Sonia knows about this, the better. For who? For all of us. Now let me tell you something. If you want to see the other side of me, you open your mouth and whisper one word to Sonia. Just one word. Well, I gon' really got to see the other side of you. You got so many sides as a love. You think I'm stupid? I hear you go the other night telling her to get rid of me. I said so. I heard you clearly. You are real Judas. If you hear you, how much you love her and you miss her, you are on top farm, eh? So what? She's my wife. To hell with your wife! All the time you had wife, but you didn't get in. Now she come back. You tuck me away in a corner like a bag of rotten onions. Well, no, mister. I think it's time she knows. So what are you going to achieve by letting her know about this? At least you will have to make up your mind about who will stay and who will have to go. You got to be a mad woman! You didn't know that when I used to sleep in there! Anyway, it's either me or she. You can't have all two. And knowing you, you can't handle two women. Because you're barely able with one. Why you don't shut your big stupid mouth and get the hell out of my life, eh? What's the matter, Sonia? Don't touch me! Is it true what I heard, Dave? Is it true? What are you talking about? Is, is what true? Yes, Sonia! Shut up, Nana! I am speaking to my husband. I don't want to hear a blasted thing from you. Well, you will down well have to listen. Donna, get the hell out of my house. Out! Is who you giving orders to? You think it's a child you're talking to? And not even your child you can talk to like that because you can't get! God knows why you don't give people like you children. Look, Donna, don't raise your blasted voice in this house. I will do what the hell I feel like. After all, I got rights in here just like everybody else. Right? What bloody rights you can have here? She have rights because you give it to her. I should have known you were damn good for nothing. God in heaven knows why the hell I married a thing like you. 
No, I always suspected you would do something like this, but look with whom. A dirty, law-class wretch like her. Who you calling a wretch? You better mind your words. Mind my words? Dave, I was wrong to get myself involved with a man like you. My friends always said never marry a man below your level of intelligence. They wouldn't be able to appreciate your company. And it's true. You are just fit for a thing like that. I started going to university and had to take leave after my first year so that you could go on scholarship. Huh. At the rate you were going, you wouldn't never get past the first year. Four Ds and an F? Only a blasted dunce could get such grades. She is your match, dunce like hell. Anybody can study and become intelligent. But not everybody could make children like me. At least you got to envy me. And it's for the man you yourself say can't make children. Look good aside. You barn as a brick, playing big shot and talking about intelligence. So you're pregnant? And for him too? I will dig that baby out of your belly, you bitch like you! Ah! This is Ipaz. This is madness. Get her out of here, Dave. Get her out. Get me out? I am not moving from here until you, Dave, make a decision. It's either me or she in this house. You don't make yourself an ass. You can't stay here. So what will happen to your child? Who will father and mine it? Let me tell you something, Dave. I am not going to throw my body around for any other man to look after your child. It is yours and you have to accept your responsibilities. Dada is right. Dave, you've got to choose. You can't have the best of both worlds. I don't think I could take much more of this at all. The best thing for me to do is to go. I don't know where, but I'm leaving. Maybe I'll come back, maybe I won't, I don't know. I have been an extremely faithful wife to you. I have given you everything you ever needed except a child. I had loved you so much that I went as far as having a fertility treatment when I was in the States just to make you a child. I wanted to give you a surprise. <laughs> now I don't know what to do, who to trust. <sighs> Boy, you gave me such a shock that if I had a weak heart, I think I would have died. I don't think I could live with you anymore because I wouldn't know how to trust you. I'm leaving. You can have Donna for yourself. I don't want to see you or hear from you or speak to you ever again. You will hear from me through my lawyer. Sonia, I just want to say that. Don't say. Save it and tell it to the lawyer. Send me a taxi. He has the same address. Lost from its home, drifting aimlessly. That's how it's been with me. Oh, yeah. Living in the fool's paradise, swallowing the bitter pills of lies, looking in your eyes. Cheating comes so easily to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Sonia. I just want to say that the, our six years of marriage have been a reasonably happy one. This has been my first major mistake and I think I deserve a chance. Could we just put this behind us and start again? Sonia, I love you very much and can't see myself living my life without you. This is my final plea to you. Please stay and let us start a fresh life. Dave, have you gone mad or something? You want me to stay here with you and her in this house? My level of decency is much higher than that. But Sonia... But what? Okay, get her out of here this very minute and I'll stay. Go on, get her out of here this very moment. If you love her so much, why you don't go and ask back? But thinking about it seriously, she's right to leave because who would want to stay in a situation like this? What do you mean by that? What do I mean? Well, I'm leaving too. Leaving? Yes, leaving. You see, I too can't stand confusion. But Sonia has left. Left? She look like she's gonna come back tomorrow or the next day and then the whole thing will start all over again. I'm a pregnant woman and that can't be healthy for me. Besides, I find a place. But you said you were gonna stay. Well, I changed my mind. Well, you see, you don't understand, but we women, we have unity. I really can't stay here and live in my best friend's house and with her husband too. It wouldn't look proper. It would make me feel guilty for the rest of my life. Only now you realize that? Yes. So where are you going? That's none of your business. Where the hell are you going? Mind your voice. You don't talk so to Sonia, so don't try it with me. I said I find a place and that is that. So what's going to happen to the baby? It will be well taken care of. You don't worry. <laughs> but it's my child. Your child? You could make children. Sonia told me it was you who couldn't make children. So how come this child is yours? You can't breed a woman, Dave. So don't fool yourself. Girl, I should have known better than to go wrong with a rat like you. Look, get out of my house before I get myself in trouble, yeah? All right, take your time. I'm coming. Sorrow for me, there's no tomorrow. My 
selfish pride stood in my way I just let you walk away I've lived a life so full of sin Endless troubles I've been in The lies I've always tried to hide Yet you stood there by my side so much for what I miss your sweet love and tenderness Ooh, oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah your sweet sweet love and tenderness Oh, them a wonder, some of them a panda Just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grandma Me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me It's a Guyanese manner Them they a wonder, some of them a panda Just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grandma Me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me It's a Guyanese manner Oh yes, stop the speculating, no need to guess Right now, they're looking at one of the best yeah. in a DDJ school Yes, me pass every test from roots to reality, hey, culture please. and slackness To know the art of the music, take a lot of practice I put the music in my heart so nothing can stop yeah, this You know see a goddess, GT bodies, straight and plain This is reggae fanatic, the natural mystic So mysterious, the birth of a genius, one of the alias Spectaculous, also amazing Ignite the fire, this is ever blazing Oh, them a wonder, some of them a pan just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grandma Me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me It's a Guyanese manna yeah. Them they a wonder Some of them a panda Just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grandma Me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me It's a Guyanese manna yeah. Anyway, me go, them a act so easy When I stay sure in the boot, I keep it busy Pardon me though, but I got to smoke my trizzy Cause when I start flow, I make the place go Whoa, come on and just face it I got the boom phrases Fully loaded by the box and the cases From right back to basics, the style we updated Versatility, so them can't underrate it My intellect is highly rated Me not afraid to talk, cause me never yet fake it Me got my nationality, now nah, forsake it Have me pride and my dignity and them can't take it Oh, them a wonder, some of them a panda just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grammar Me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me It's a Guyanese manna yeah. Them they a wonder Some of them a panda Just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grammar Me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me It's a Guyanese manna Listen, me did a sing an EJ from ever since Like back in the days, with my friends for the ends Them time me used to song like Spraga Benz And the next door neighbor used to be dumb defense, yo Hoping your ears, I say ladies and gents Why you looking so like you're under suspense Give me any ready man, watch me comments I'm not full of myself, I just can't feel it Oh, them a wonder, some of them a panda Just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause you give me flip me grammar, me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me, it's a guy and these manna Them they a wonder, some of them a panda just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grandma Me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me It's a Guyanese manna Oh, them a wonder Some of them a panda Just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grandma Me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me It's a Guyanese manna Them they a wonder Some of them a panda Just because of me, there is a whole lot of drama Cause the way me flip me grandma Me a get the honor And enough of them can't believe me It's a Guyanese manna
Living under one people, one nation, one destiny. It's all about you and me, so let it be, let it be. Uh-huh. G-U-Y-E-N-E. Come on, say what me say. You're the he, what me say. Where you there? Let me see your hands if you know where you come from. Dirty flex and a me this. Remix and a we this. Bounce it out if you feel this. We listen to the point the track, bringing it back. Cause the nose is hot. That's one right. more try, just one more time. We attack it from the bottom. Straight to the top. Never gonna stop till we put it from the map. So come on, come on. I remember where you at? Where you at? when I was such a young boy. And I used to be so free. Just 